Hi everyone, this is Miss Griffith here. I have a math lesson for you today. This math lesson involves me going over addition and subtraction strategies that you can use to help you. I am first going to start with the addition strategies. One of the strategies that you can use whenever you come across an addition problem is to draw a picture. If you were to draw a picture to help you add, you could draw whatever picture you would like. I chose triangles here. I have two triangles plus one triangle equals three triangles. You can draw a picture to help you add. Another addition strategy that you can use is a 10 frame. Using a 10 frame, you can add, I have two blue dots plus three red or purple dots. You can use a 10 frame to help you add. You can also use a number line to help you add. you can use a number line. On this number line, I started at one, I added two, so one plus two equals three. Using a number line can certainly help you add. Another addition strategy that you can use is counting on. If you were to use counting on as a strategy to help you add, you simply count. So you would start at five, for example, and say five, six, seven. Five plus two equals seven. And the last addition strategy that I'll talk about today is using mental math. If you're using mental math to help you add, it's something that you just simply know off the top of your head. For example, two plus two, four. Now that I have went over some addition strategies, I am going to talk about subtraction strategies. Some of the strategies are the same, but they just look different based on the different operation. Alright, so for subtraction strategy, 
you can certainly use pictures. If you draw pictures to help you subtract, you can choose to draw whatever type of picture you want. I drew pictures of triangles here. So I drew a total of four triangles and I crossed out two. So I would be taking away two and I would be left with two. You can use pictures to help you solve subtraction problems. You can use counters to help you solve subtraction problems. Counters such as small cubes, as dice, you could use small cotton balls, you could use noodles, any type of counters you can use to help you subtract. You would simply start with a number, so let's say you start with five, you would then remove a number, let's say remove two, and then that would help you solve the subtraction problem. Another subtraction strategy that can be used to help is using your fingers. If you're using your fingers to help you count or help you subtract, you would start with all your fingers up or start with a number of fingers, and then you would subtract by putting your fingers down. Last but not least, another subtraction strategy you can use is to use a number line. you can use a number line to help you subtract. In addition, you can use a number line, but you would be going forward or you'd be going to higher numbers. In subtraction, you'll be going backwards or to lower numbers. So if I started with five and went backwards three, I would land on two. I wanted to review addition and subtraction strategies for you today. These are strategies that can be helpful when you're doing single-digit addition, double-digit addition, and so forth. Bye!